Now we get to go to our SoCal <laughs> Spotlight and check in with Sheba. She's in Ventura County and covering all of the hidden gems in Camarillo. Yeah, Sheba, earlier you showed us, you know, all these great gymnasts who are doing backflips, and now you're at a beautiful farm. Oh, a beautiful family farm with so much history, guys. It's been passed down five generations. This is McGrath Family Farm, which is 150 years old. And if you come to Camarillo, you have to visit. John Lefkowitz is the CEO of Public Domain, which leases five acres of the farm. There's such a great history here. Oh, absolutely. The family has been farming here forever. They at one time owned from the bottom of the hill all the way to the ocean. And this is the last of the family, local family farm. So it's kind of a great experience. Awesome. So I was showing everybody the strawberries earlier, the artichokes. Kind of talk about some of the stuff you guys grow well, here. I mean, I think what we're trying to create is agro-tourism. We want you to come out with your family, picnic, pick strawberries, pick lettuce, and just even farm education. Learn a little bit about the farm, ask questions. You're 100 yards from the freeway, and you can still kind of feel unplugged from your normal day-to-day -day life, which is unusual and nice now. You can get your kids to put away their phones for a little bit and have some fun. And come pick some strawberries and eat them, and I have to say the best strawberries. Berries I've ever had. Oh, Not exaggerating, guys. And you were Thank explaining you. to me it's because they're organic and so it goes through a better process to get to us. Yeah, I mean, it has no chemicals put on it. And also, when you pull it off the vine, it doesn't go through the distribution channels. Mm -hmm. It goes right into your mouth or into your kitchen. It doesn't go to the truck, the truck to the center, center to the store. So it's incredible. So come on out, pick strawberries. Uh, eventually, we'll have wine tasting out here nice. and you can have parties, all kinds of things. Yeah, walk with me a bit so we can show everybody a little bit more because we're saying farm and then we're showing them dinner tables and so yeah. let's explain that. You guys are working on experiences. Yes, we're creating experiences, but we also ultimately want to have an open venue where you come out here, drink wine, and have a good time with your family and friends, listen to live music while learning about the farm somewhat, somewhat subliminally. Awesome. I love that we have landed by the sunflowers because you taught me something about sunflowers this morning. Share it with everyone. Uh, I th sunflowers are really interesting because it's the only flower that follows the sun all day. So right now the flowers facing us as the sun turns that flower will follow it all the way around so the yellow flower you're now seeing will be facing exactly the opposite direction awesome and Which, can folks do strawberry picking all year long people can do strawberry picking probably till the end of july because of all the rains and at some point we'll have strawberry picking we'll have you pick for lettuce and all kinds of things nice. it's kind of your grocery great, store of fun a great adventure camarillo john thank you so much i'm going to send it back to you guys and plan your trip to pick some strawberries i had no idea sunflowers had the name for that reason, guys. Me neither. <laughs> I just learned so much.